In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Magandang hapong po sa inyong lahat, and welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa. My dear friends, Jesus tells His disciples that as a Messiah, he will be delivered into the hands of men and be put to death. The way to glory is through humility and suffering. But the disciples fail to understand Him because they are thinking of their own personal glory that they hope to receive when Jesus is acclaimed as the Messiah. Knowing what is in their hearts, the Lord places a little child in their midst. In God's kingdom, whoever humbles himself and serves the little ones, the poor, those with neither power nor voice, will be considered great. Dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Have mercy on us, O Lord, for we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. And grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord. Glory to God in the highest and on earth, these two people of good will. We praise you, we bless you. We glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, heavenly King, O God Almighty Father. Lord Jesus Christ, the Holy Begotten Son, Lord. founded all the commands of your sacred law upon love of you and of our neighbor, grant that by keeping your precepts we may merit to attain eternal life through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. From the Book of Wisdom The wicked say, Let us beset the just one, 
because he is of no use to us. He sets himself against our doings, reproaches us for transgressions of the law, and charges us with violations of our training. Let us see whether his words be true. Let us find out what will happen to him. For if the just one be the Son of God, God will defend him and deliver him from the hands of the foes. With revilement and torture, let us put the just one to the test, that we may have proof of his gentleness and try his patience. Let us condemn him to a shameful death, for according to his own words, God will take care of him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord upholds my life. The Lord upholds my life. O God, by your name save me, and by your might defend my cause. O God, hear my prayer. Hearken to the words of my mouth. The Lord upholds my life. For the haughty men have risen up against me. The ruthless seek my life. They set not God before their eyes. The Lord upholds my life. Behold, God is my helper. The Lord sustains my life. Freely will I offer your sacrifice. I will praise your name, O Lord for its goodness. The Lord upholds my life. A reading from the letter of St. James. Beloved, where jealousy and selfish ambition exist, there is their disorder in every foul practice. But the wisdom from above is first of all pure, then peaceable, gentle, compliant, full of mercy and good fruits, without inconstancy or insincerity. And the fruit of righteousness is sown in peace for those who cultivate peace. Where do the wars and where do the conflicts among you come from? Is it not from your passions that make war within your members? You covet but do not possess. You kill in envy, but you cannot obtain. You fight and wage war. You do not possess because you do not ask. You ask, but do not receive, because you ask wrongly to spend it on your passions. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. God has called us through the gospel to possess the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus and his disciples left from there and began a journey through Galilee. But he did not wish anyone to know about it. He was teaching his disciples and telling them, The Son of Man is to be handed over to men, and they will kill him. And three days after his death, the Son of Man will rise. But they did not understand the saying, and they were afraid to question him. They came to Capernaum, and once inside the house, he began to ask them, What were you arguing about on the way? But they remained silent. They had been discussing among themselves on the way who was the greatest. Then he sat down, called the twelve, and said to them, If anyone wishes to be first, he shall be the last of all and the servant of all. 
taking a child, he placed it in their midst, and putting his arms around it, he said to them, Whoever receives one child, such as this, in my name, receives me. And whoever receives me, receives not me, but the one who sent me. My dear friends, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Muli po magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat at nawa kayo ay ligtas sa inyo-inyong mga bahay. My dear friends, if you remember the transfiguration event of the Lord, so when He went up on a mountain, the mount, no? and then there He was transfigured, it was a very beautiful event no? na tumatak doon sa mga apostles and disciples na kasama niya and that uh, they even insinuated na let's stay here longer let's build three tents one for you, one for Moses and then one for Elijah so when you build something at all da, no, there is an intention to stay longer but the Lord uh, did not agree with them He told them this is not where we are going to stay because this is not the end of our mission. We should go down and we should face and carry on the mission that was entrusted to me by the Father. In the Gospel that we read today, that mission is fast unfolding. That mission is fast being in front with clarity before the Lord. And this is now the moment of truth. This is already the moment of reckoning for Jesus. That unavoidable reality of His salvific mission. At ano yun? Nakakambal ng kanyang pagpunta sa mundo, pakikipamuhay sa atin, ang kakambal nun ay yung suffering and death that will complete. Of course, there will be the resurrection and that will complete the mission that was given to Him by the Father. And it's not time to make miracles anymore. Tapos na yun. Naipakita na niya, naipamalas na niya yung kanyang kakayahan before the people. And yet, people were still incredulous, unbelieving. But tapos na yung paggawa ng miracle in that aspect. It's not also a time anymore for preaching to large crowd. Tapos na rin po yun. It is time to gather strength. This is it. The mission is fast unfolding. Tapos na yung negotiation. Tapos na yung uh, tapos na yung invitation. Tapos na rin yung pakikipag-usap. Tapos na yung pakiusapan. Now this is the time for confrontation. Face to face. Alam nyo, madalas takot tayo sa confrontation. Madalas uh, many of us lalong-lalo na kapag ka napakalakas ng ating katunggali ng nasa kabilang linya, ng nasa kabilang uh, nasa kabilang partido, no? uh, we often would just say, stay, uh, remain silent, and not say anything about a matter that must be discussed, na dapat pag-usapan. But in the gospel that we read today, the Lord is telling us that when the inevitable part of His mission no, arrives, He is not going to cower from it. He will soldier on. Kaya nga naman siya, sigurado siya, doon sa kanyang gagawin. Pero yung mga kasama niya ay mukhang pinanghihinaan pa ng loob. And it was something that must be depressing to the Lord kasi habang sila ay papunta doon sa Jerusalem, they were arguing about something. 
And the Lord asked them, What were you arguing about? Tameme, walang maisagot. Because what they were busy talking about while the Lord was contemplating about how to fulfill the mission, the difficulty that comes along with it, the pain, the suffering that comes along with with the fulfillment of the mission, and yet, yung mga kasama niya were talking about petty things. Who among them will be the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? Kaya hindi nakasagot kasi nakakahiya. No? Parang ang dami-dami ng mga nagsasuffer because of COVID, dami-dami ng mga namamatay because of COVID, madami-dami ng nagugutom because of the pandemia, and yet, it seems that the efforts are not focused on how to address this particular disease. Yes, there are efforts, but if you're going to ask whether they are sufficient, then mapapaisip po talaga tayo, mga kapatid. The Lord in the Gospel, I am very sure, were dismayed at the apostles. Eto ako, aharapin ko na itong misyon na itinalaga sa akin ng aking ama. And yet you're busy with something that is not within that mission. Petty. Kaya nga po, kung titingnan natin ano ang lesson nitong ating binasang ibanghelyo, there, there are times sa buhay natin wherein it's time to set aside petty matters. And the disciples are doing just that. Ora de peligro na, sabi nga natin, and yet yung pa rin yung mga pinag-uusapan natin, yung pa rin yung mga concerns natin. And it is unnerving. It is really depressing when we see that and when we hear that. Time to set aside petty matters and to face and to address what matters to the Filipino people. Second, this is a teaching about humility. No? Teaching about humility. Uh, ang hirap maunawaan na yung isang Panginoon, na isang kanilang leader that making miracles left and right, preaching, and then people were, uh, people were, uh, in a way, no, uh, amazed at his preaching with authority. And then at some point, eto siya preaching about his death. Ang hirap i-reconcile yun sa pananaw ng kanyang mga apostoles. Sapagkat, if you're going to do this, are we also part of it? That is something that was very difficult for them to accept. That's why the Lord is teaching also how to fully understand the mission of suffering and death, the mission of salvation, it has to come with an eye of humility. Pangatlo, ang ganda po ng ginawa ng Panginoon sapagkat people were, were talking about, discussing, arguing, debating who should be first. And yet what he did is simply to call a child. Powerless, in the peripheries, voiceless, and he just called the child and told everyone, whoever welcomes this powerless, this voiceless child in their midst, in my name, then they welcome me. Teaching on welcoming those who are in the fringes. So what matters, my dear friends? What are not petty things? Not petty things are when we attend to the least, to the last, and then to the lost. Ang lungkot, kapag ka ganun pa rin yung mga nababalitaan natin, nababasa natin sa dyaryo, napapakinggan natin sa mga balita, when we can use all the energy to help those, the least, the last, and the lost. Why? Because this is at the core 
of Jesus' salvific mission. I believe in one God, the Father, the Father Almighty, Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God, God from God, God light, light from light, light true God, God from true God, God begotten, begotten and made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men, for our, our salvation. He came down from, from heaven, and by, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who was spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us now voice our humble prayer to the Father, confident that he will receive his gracious care, and for every petition we pray, Lord, make us humble of heart. Lord, make us humble of heart. May Pope Francis, bishops, priests, deacons, religious men and women, forsake the trappings of titles and remain humble servants. We pray. Lord, make us humble of heart. May we honor all people, especially those who help us in our daily needs, rather than the gods of money, sports, fame, and politics, we pray. Lord, make us humble of heart. May we not prejudge anyone on account of color, race, gender, appearance, or disability, we pray. Lord, make us humble of heart. May we maintain our humility before the Lord as we face this pandemic through our faithful observance of health protocols to stem the tide of COVID-19 transmission, we pray. Lord, make us humble of heart. May all our brothers and sisters who passed away from this life be admitted to God's kingdom where peace and joy are surely found, we pray. Lord, make us humble of heart. For the intentions of the devotees and pilgrims of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary of Manawa, we pray. Lord, make us humble of heart. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. We pray. Lord, make us humble of heart. We also continue to pray for all the frontliners in this fight against COVID-19, for their health, for their well-being, for more grace to strengthen them. And we also continue to pray for the enlightenment of our leaders, both in the church and in the government. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord make us humble of heart. Father, give us a humble heart that seeks to please not the world but you alone. Show us your love in answer to our prayers so that we may continue the mission of your kingdom which you have entrusted to us through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you. 
pray, my dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Receive with favor, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your people, that what they profess with devotion and faith may be theirs through these heavenly mysteries, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For we know it belongs to your boundless glory that you came to the aid of mortal beings with your divinity and even fashion for us a remedy out of mortality itself that the cause of our downfall might become the means of our salvation through Christ our Lord. To him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices we pray join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. May call it therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take these all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take these, all of you, and drink from it, for this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection Until you come again Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life in the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Archbishop, Fidelis, our auxiliary bishop, Gerard, the master of the order of preachers, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, 
and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Then. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I live you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer to one another the sign of Christ's peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. My dear friends, behold our Lord Jesus Christ, our healer, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Graciously raise up, O Lord, those you renew with this sacrament, that we may come to possess your redemption, both in mystery and in the manner of our life, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. May the God of all consolation order your days in his peace and grant you the gifts of his blessing. Amen. May he free you always from every distress and confirm your hearts in his love. Amen. So that in this life's journey, works rich in the gifts of hope, faith, and charity, and may come happily to eternal life. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. The Mass ascended, go in peace to love and serve the Lord through one another. Thanks be to God. We shall now say the prayer for the blessing ng mga may sakit, and then we bless your religious articles. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters, free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. For your religious articles, we bless them. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, or Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may your religious articles be blessed and made holy. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Uh -huh. 